Hey everyone, Dr. D here, and in this video, I've pulled the MG back out after its hibernation, and I'm gonna take care of a couple of issues with the cooling system. One issue is that the fans are, you know, one of the motors is dead, so I have to, you know, put in a new motor for the fan. Um, I've got new fan blades, and I went ahead and got two, two fan motors. Uh, so I'm gonna be putting in new fans, new blades, and another issue is with the little switch that senses the temperature of the radiator to switch on the fans that's shot so no matter how hot the radiator gets the fans don't click on so i'll show you how to replace that those are the two issues i'll be addressing in this video uh, so let's go ahead and get started so here you can see i got some new motors from moss uh, new fan blades. Here's my other motor. The other fan blades uh, in the car right now, but I'm going to be putting in these new fans. I got a new brace as well. My old brace was warped, so ordered this br uh, little bracket that holds the fan motor. Ordered that off of eBay actually uh, to fix the little thermal switch. The heat sensitive switch i ordered this piece from moss you can see the part number here it's a cooling fan switch from moss urp 1126 all right and it just looks like this okay so this is this actually inserts into the radiator and when it gets warm enough there's a connection that's made and that switches on the fans this part is bad so i'm switching it out no pun intended, right? And it looked like it it looks like it comes with the grommet, but I went ahead and got a grommet as well, so I may not need this piece, but you know, better safe than sorry. So here's the fan switch right here. See how it's inserted into the radiator. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out. Okay? I'll probably clean that off with some electrical cleaner. And uh this is it right here. So I'm going to remove this. And by the way, to connect these fans, you see how they don't come with any kind of connect connector at the end. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm I'm getting new connectors, uh, new connectors, and soldering them on. Uh, I haven't finished uh, heat shrinking this one, so I can I can show you what I'm doing. Uh, soldering them on, and then heat shrinking this, and then heat shrinking the whole thing together. So I have a new connector on the fan and. I'm soldering on a new connector on the, you know, the harness as well. So I've got a new connector soldered at both ends. And by putting in new connectors, I'll be able to clip in the new fans. Another way of doing it is using, you know, like a butt connector like this, where you crimp it on. So you use a butt connector like this. You would simply put it crimp it on um, and then crimp both sides you know that's another option and then and then you know put some uh, heat shrink around that for making it waterproof that's another 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 uh, option for you a butt connector so it's up to you either solder in an actual connector or do a butt connector uh, whichever <laughs>
gonna top off the coolant as well just to make sure I've got coolant in here so I can get the heat up to temperature for the fan. test out the fans just by you know uh, closing the loop on the switch manually real quick yep they work they work just fine So now I'm going to top off the coolant some more now that it's run a little bit. You know, I ran it just a little bit. I'm going to top off the coolant again. I'm going to install everything and see if the fans kick on at high temp. all fueled up I uh, should be ready the fans are installed motors are installed I topped off the coolant I've got the new switch installed let's try it out
accomplished. Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. A Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. A Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. A Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D. Dr. D, Dr. D, Dr. D.